We're going to evaluate the limit of sine of x squared divided by x as x approaches zero. Here is a graph of the function, and from the graph, you can probably tell that the limit is zero. Let's go ahead and prove it. You could try to use the squeeze theorem here, but the most obvious way of doing it wouldn't actually work out. There is still another easy way to solve this limit though. It looks pretty close to sine of a thing divided by the thing with the thing approaching zero. That's a famous limit that we know. If we have the limit of sine theta over theta with theta approaching zero, this limit's equal to one. So this is close to that, but it's not quite. The problem is, of course, we have x squared inside the sine function, but it's just x that's in the denominator. But with a little bit of work, we can make that x squared in the denominator. All we have to do is multiply this thing by x over x. That's going to put x squared in the denominator, and hopefully the rest will work out. So what we have now is the limit as x approaches zero of sine of x squared times x, and we've got x squared in the denominator. So I'm just keeping this x outside of the sine x squared over x squared, because that's gonna help me see what I have to do a little more easily. Now, we can just split this up using the limit product rule. For the sine x squared over x squared, notice that when x approaches zero, x squared approaches zero. So I'm gonna write this as the limit with x squared approaching zero, of sine x squared over x squared. And then this is getting multiplied by the limit as x approaches zero of x. And we're almost done. I know that the limit of sine x squared over x squared with x squared approaching zero, well, that's the same as this classic limit. Sine of a thing over a thing with the thing approaching zero, that equals one. Link in the description to my lesson proving that. And this other limit is even easier. The limit of x as x approaches zero is zero. So by the limit product rule, I have that the limit is zero. That's how we calculate the limit of sine x squared over x with x going to zero. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or requests.